Good day everyone, this is Engineer EMV and welcome to my channel. Before we proceed, hit the like button and subscribe for more civil engineering topics and practice problems in my channel. Okay, let's proceed to our first problem for the investigation and analysis of singly reinforced beams. So I have here, I summarize up the given. The base of the beam is 300 millimeters. The area of the steel is composed of 825 millimeter diameter, equally in two layers. The effective depth is 512.5 millimeters. And the effective depth from the extreme tension reinforcement is 537 0.5 millimeters. So the difference between D and DT is that the D is measured from the centroid of the entire enforcements while DT is measured from the centroid of the extreme tension steel and our compressive strength of the concrete is 42 megapascal while the, FC, the FY or the yield strength of the steel is 415 MPa. So we are tasked to find the value of C or the depth of the neutral axis, phi for the value of the reduction factor, and the mu or the ultimate moment or what we call the design flexure. So the first step is that we equate the value of the tensile force and the compressive force in the beam. And we assume the value of our stress in the steel. So in this case, we will assume that the stress is greater than the yield strength of the steel. So we will use the value of Fy in our calculation. So As multiplied by Fy, since we assume that it, the steel will yield, and C is equal to 0 0.85 Fc prime A times B as the area of the concrete block. So our As is composed of 825 millimeter diameter reinforcing bars, and our Fy is 415 megapascal is equal to 0.85 our compressive strength of the concrete is 42 megapascal our a is our unknown and we will solve this first and our b is equal to 300 millimeters it's the base of our beam so by calculating i will use casio fx 350ex as the recommended calculators by the prc One fifty two point one six six. So that is the value of our depth of the compression block. So to solve the value of C, we can use the formula A over beta one. So we are now going to solve the value of beta one by looking at our given compressive strength. Our compressive strength of the concrete is forty two megapascal and it is obviously greater than 28 megapascal, so we are going to use the formula 0 0.85 minus Fc prime minus 28 divided by 7 multiplied by 0 0.05. So solving for beta 1, we can get a value of 0 0.75. So our value is A152.166 divided by 0 0.75 and our C or the depth of the neutral axis is equal to 202.888 millimeters. That is our answer for our first question. Next is solving for the FS or the theoretical stress in the steel. So we need to check if our assumption is correct, if FS is greater than or equal to FY or not. So solving for FS, we can use the formula D minus C all multiplied by 600 divided by C. So substituting our values, D as 512.5 minus C, 202.888 multiplied by 600 divided by 202.888. So 
fs is equal to so the value of fs is equal to 915.6 value of fs is equal to 915.6 megapascal and it is obviously greater than fy so our assumption is correct that FS is greater than FY, or the yield point of the steel. So now we are going to solve for the value of the strain in the steel. We can use the formula DT minus C, all multiplied by 0 0.003, divided by C. So by substituting our values, DT is equal to 537.5, minus C, 202.888, multiplied by 0 0.003, divided by C, 202.888. So solving for our value, we got a value of 0 0.004948. And as you can see, it is less than 0 0.005. It means that the section will lie in the transition region. So as you can see in the graph, the transition region lies in a linear slant line. So it means that we can use linear interpolation to see our corresponding value of the strain in the steel. Since it is in the transition region, we can interpolate linearly. So I will make a table with two columns, one for the strain and one for the reduction factor. We can use the 0 0.005 strain and uh, FY over ES strain as our limiting strains while it corresponds to a value of 0 0.90 for the tension controlled and 0 0.65 for the compression controlled. FY over ES is what we call the strain at FY. So by substituting the values for 15 divided by 200,000 megapascal, we can get a value of 0 0.002 and that will be our strain at FY. So we are going to find the value of X which corresponds to a value of 0 0.004948. So by linear interpolation, we can create a proportion of values. So to solve for x or our phi or our what we call reduction factor, we can get a value of 0 0.893. And that is our answer for the second question. Now to solve for the ultimate moment, or the design flexure strength, we can use the formula mu is equal to phi multiplied by mn. To solve for the value of mn, we can use our compressive force or our tensile force. So in this problem, I will use the compressive force. So it will be mu is equal to phi multiplied by 0 0.85 fc prime ab multiplied by d minus a over 2. So substituting our values, our phi is 0 0.893 multiplied by 0 0.85 fc prime 42 megapascal value of a 152.166 multiplied by b 300 our base of the beam multiplied by d 512.5 minus a over 2 which is 152.166 divided by 2 so the value of our ultimate or design flexural strength is equal to 635.126 kilonewton meter. And that will be our answer for the last question. So tuned in for more problems regarding investigation and analysis of singly reinforced beams. That's all for this video. I hope you've learned something. And if you have questions, inquiries, and topics in mind, just comment it down below. And let's see what will be our next topic in our next videos. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more civil engineering topics and practice problems by Engineer EMV.